200. It's like extremely hot out here, but we're gonna practice. We're gonna make it work. Um, it's that guy's birthday today. So I want everyone to tell him happy birthday, USF football. It's my guy, Taji Fullwood. Let's have a great day. Embrace the salt. Football fans think they get to know their team by watching them play in games. But the real personality of a team shows in practice. Better yet, after practice. And these South Florida Bulls are a tight-knit group. Hey, because it's Ty J. Ford's birthday, right? Okay, that's your roommate? We're we, we gonna, go, we gonna grab our towel and then we're gonna get on the bus. Go. All y'all welcome. Okay. He said, okay. cause it's my birthday, yeah. we get to go to the dog 20, my dog 20. Not every football team can celebrate a teammate's birthday with sand and surf, but it is a perk of playing in Tampa, a day that shows one thing. It's a good thing they aren't playing the Seahawks this year. We out here, St. Pete Beach, yeah, we out here, good days of work, went to practice, got it in, now we at the beach, cooling it. Good vibes. Get my boys on camera over there, right over there. Say what up to the camera, man. More proof to the old football axiom, the team that swims together wins together. As opponents have found out this year, playing against the Bulls is no day at the beach. What did it take to earn this uniform? Win the jersey, do your job. More than you thought you had. The sacrifices, the extra mile, the love of the game. You had to be different to become a bull. Why did you do it? For this moment, for this chance. This is our city. This is our time. What will it take to earn this uniform? Everything you have. We are Bay Made. Bay Made Inside USF Football is presented by Elder Ford of Tampa, home of the lifetime warranty. Bay Made Inside USF Football is presented by, by the Florida Lottery. The Florida Lottery, over 30 billion and counting to education. Just imagine. By Hooters. Hooters, get your game on. The original wing joint since 1983. By Tampa General Hospital. Tampa General Hospital. Live fiercely. By Tico People's Gas. Brought to you by the energy saving conservation programs of Tico People's Gas. And by UPS. Delivered by UPS, visit ups.com slash solvers to find out more. Devin Abraham, number 20 from Tarpon Springs, Florida. Tampa is a, a really big city, so I mean, you have a lot of things to do, a lot of things to see, and uh, I've been here for pretty much my whole life, so it, it's been a fun experience so far. This is my brother Micah and my little, my little sister Olivia. He isn't that tall anymore, he's probably taller than me now though. This is my freshman year against Houston. 
my little sister playing soccer, and this is my brother's first year at IMG. But a lot of people just tell me that I play like my dad, you know, uh, instinctive, smart, and uh, just things I like to base my game off of. The son of the former Tampa Bay Buck, Donnie Abraham, with the interception for the Bulls. You know, my dad's a laid-back laid type of guy. He, he isn't, you know, too much pressure on, you should do this, you should do that. He's just a cool guy. He just goes and does his job, and he, he's just a normal dad. It's, it's a normal life. He didn't want me to feel like I had to play football. He kind of let me do my own thing. We made a bet when I was in high school that if I had 10 interceptions, he'd let me wear uh, his Pro Bowl cleats, but I never got there. He had a coach that wanted to make him a tennis player, golf, baseball. Basketball, you were all right at basketball, right? You were all right. Yeah. Yeah, he was all right at basketball. Uh, he was a pretty, uh, pretty awesome kid. Uh, you know, starting from a young age, he was a, a kid that always did what he was supposed to do, which was kind of strange. Uh, but he was always neat, always had to have things in order, uh, and just a fun kid to have. I chose USF because uh, I wanted to stay close to home, you know. I'm a, I'm a homebody. I wanted to be able to see uh, my little brother and my little sister grow up in, into their sports, and I wanted them to be able to see uh, me uh, continue playing college ball. I had an intercession right here around the 10, 20 yard line that we thought sealed the game, but uh, they ended up scoring the next drive. Uh, my senior year against Dwyer in the end zone down there, I scored the, the game tying touchdown to take us into overtime, but we ended up losing two, but those are probably two of my favorite plays that I, I made here. And my mom was on the sideline every game. She would take pictures. Uh, she, uh, that's what she did. That was her thing. Well, it's a good thing that he did decide to stay home. I mean, it, it gives me an opportunity to get to some of the games. I remember his first game playing in there. He, you know, he sent me a text, uh, uh, and he was like, Dad, I'm playing in the same stadium you played in. So, you know, that was that was pretty unique. we see where this thing goes, you know. We don't know what God has in plan for him, but, uh, you know, his, his future looked good either way, whether he plays or not. I currently am on track to graduate uh, next spring with my communications, and I want to hopefully get my master's in sports business. But, uh, you know, our, our academic advisors do a great job with us. They, they set us up for success. They put us in classes that we need to be in, and they just stay on us. They make sure that we're going to class and getting what we need to do, because when all else fails, you need your degree. Football won't last forever. Bay Made Inside USF Football is presented by, by the Florida Lottery. The Florida Lottery, over 30 billion and counting to education. Just imagine. By Hooters. Hooters, get your game on. The original wing joint since 1983. By Tampa General Hospital. Tampa General Hospital, live fiercely. USF Health, making life better. The 2016 football season featured just one week off for the South Florida Bulls. AJ Legree. Flowers nine, baby. He got all the money. All Going the money. off the mall. Sit back and watch. Hey, Tell can me. I join? <laughs> After a chance to rest a bit and heal some November bruises, they were ready for the challenge of their final three regular season games starting with a trip to Memphis and a chance to play in the famed Liberty Bowl. And they were about to add a little history to the venue themselves. Their last win over Memphis had actually come in the St. Petersburg Bowl in 2008. But there was no holiday atmosphere here, just another chance to roll up their sleeves and go to work, showcasing an offense that has left most opponents singing the blues. In the silence before the chaos of competition, these Bulls were left alone with their thoughts, knowing they had accomplished a lot and were looking at the opportunity to make this a really special season. Knowing too that the higher you climb, the more treacherous the territory. Hey, it's all about the bay, baby. We all we need. Uh, 
Another network telecast. The first place Bulls had earned the primetime attention and the start of another South Florida adventure. Coach Willie Taggart activated the headsets. His team strapped on the helmets. The ninth best scoring offense in the country was about to put on a show. Five wide receivers, empty backfield for Flowers. Bubble screen right, caught. It is Adams breaking a tackle, breaking it. Oh, tackle spins out of it. Gets down the far sideline, and nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, USF. 49 yards, and the Bulls are up on Memphis. That's what I'm talking about, Rodney. Rodney Adams was off to a great start in what would be a career yardage game for him. With the Gulf Coast offense piling up record numbers, it's easy for the South Florida defense to be overshadowed. But they have been a big part of getting this team on the verge of the top 25. And Mike Love's bat down forced Memphis to punt for the second straight time. It's down at the four yard line, but it's kept out of the end zone. So Memphis gets exactly what it was looking for there on that quick kick. So it seemed that the quick strike Bulls needed just two plays for the attention to focus on the other end of the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. One man's got an angle, he's not gonna get him. 92 yards. Less than eight minutes into the game and Adams already had touchdowns, rushing Adams. and receiving, totaling 141 yards. But the Bulls' early lead would be challenged. Memphis was a well-seasoned team, and the competitive nature of AAC games revealed itself. A field goal in the first quarter had the Tigers on the board. In the second, they would get into the end zone for the first time, converting a fourth and 10 that set up Riley Ferguson for the quarterback sneak. Suddenly, it's 14 to 10. There was new life in Memphis. They had won three straight against the Bulls. But the South Florida train had barely left the station and was ready to open full throttle. South Florida going for it on fourth down. No time to celebrate because they get the first down and wow. roll. He is gone. 48 yards. He's over 1,000 yards. More importantly, he just put six on the board for the Bulls. Quentin Flowers makes it look easy on the football field, but that's an illusion. The studying and film work and practice dedication that you get to see is what makes game day seem simple. They go to the running game. There's a huge hole. Right up the middle is Henderson. Touchdown, Tigers. 21 yards. I hope they brought enough fireworks to the Liberty Bowl. That's right. The Bulls went to the locker room up by four, but if there ever was a seesaw battle, this was it. There would be four lead changes in the third quarter, starting with Memphis going on top for the first time in the game on the opening drive of the second half. Here's a look at Rodney Adams back with Johnson. And the onside kick, and it's still in, and the Tigers recover it. They bring two tight ends in motion from left to right. That's the short side. Fake the run, fake the pass. Now rolling out, Ferguson throws long, and it's picked off by the Bulls. Dietrich Nichols at about the 18-yard line. There's the first takeaway of the game. Bulls with a big interception. Adams in motion. Flowers keeps left side. First down and more. He breaks it. Here he goes. Touchdown, Quentin Flowers. USF pads their lead. Another touchdown run for Flowers. 48 yards on the play. Hey, come here. Listen, listen, listen. They, came up, they really bring blitz off of it, but I understand that. So it's all time. Hey, now listen. Come event. The Bulls' four-point lead would again turn into a three-point deficit. Like two heavyweights exchanging punches, each team would get into the end zone twice in the third quarter. But South Florida was used to taking a shot while continuing with the task at hand. Flowers back to pass, throws a short one, caught at the 40. And getting it outside, it's McCants. He gets the sideline, and he's going to be free. Touchdown, Bulls! USF took a four-point lead into the fourth quarter, and the defense stiffened, holding the Tigers to a field goal. It was 35-34, with nearly an entire quarter to play. The 
the time where perspiration and preparation separates the winners from the losers. One of the reasons South Florida has been so successful is quarterback Quentin Flowers' ability to separate himself from opposing defenses. He steered a bull stampede that would pile up nearly 700 yards of offense, and they would need it all against a stubborn Memphis team. Marlon Mack's four-yard run midway through the final quarter had South Florida ahead by eight. Bulls fans traveled well. The chill of Memphis could be chased away with a win, but this game would test South Florida's will. With less than seven minutes to go, the Tigers tied the game. Tiger fans start to pick up the volume. Adams in motion. Flowers looking to throw. Here comes pressure. He gets away. Gets hit. Throws it out to Adams. What a play. What a play. First down. Play clock to single digits. Flowers looking over toward the sideline. Second and four from the Memphis 22. They ran into each other. Flowers still has it. Oh, what a move. And he's going to score. It started by running into his own player. It ends with a 22-yard touchdown run. And that play is the exclamation point to a career night for Quentin Flowers. 210 rushing yards, and the final 22 might have sealed the deal for his team. If the front runner for the Conference Player of the Year award didn't, the Bulls defense did. Out of the shotgun on fourth down and goal from the three. Here's the throw to the end zone. Incomplete. Incomplete. The Bulls have held and they lead by seven. They'll get the ball back with 41 seconds to go. A congratulatory hug from athletic director Mark Harlan and their 14th win in 18 games. And suddenly the chill was gone from the Memphis night air. They made Inside USF Football is presented by Elder Ford of Tampa. They made Inside USF Football is brought to you by the Tampa Bay Times. Get your news when you're on the go. Download the Tampa Bay Times app at tampabay.com slash apps. We're not here all week long, okay? And, and we talk about that versus. We had it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Let me tell you, the, the best thing about it, though, we stayed together. And that's what it takes, guys. That's what it takes. We talk about self-talk. We talked all week about it, right? Great job. Great job. Great job. Uh, great win. Great win on the road. Um, really excited the way our guys played. Uh, I talked to them before the game and, and really all week and told them it was going to be a dog fight. We knew that our guys came in with, with the right mentality coming into this football game and, and, and how we needed to play with energy and passion. And, you know, and they did that and find a way to win. Whatever it took to win, that's what we needed to do. And, uh, those guys found a way to win. South Florida going for it on fourth down. No time to celebrate because they get the first down and wow. more. He is gone. Quick flowers. Unbelievable. I hope the whole country was watching this game tonight. Just try to lock in and stay focused. So uh, that's all I've been doing, you know, watching film, going to see Coach T, seeing what he like, seeing what type of calls he'll make, what type of audibles he'll make, and uh, just listening to Coach King, you know. Uh, he been where I'm trying to go, you know. Uh, that's all I can do, just uh, listen to them guys. The kid is unbelievable. You show me someone better. That's what I ask. Looking for Miller. Knocked away. The Bulls are going to hold on. Three straight great plays by Dietrich Nichols in the end zone. Probably midway through the third quarter, I told him if we're going to win this ball game, we're going to need a stop from our defense. You know, and we got down and told him, here we go. This is what we talked about. We need to stop. Hey, that's, that that was big. That was that was amazing. I ain't even I ain't think about it yet, but that that won the ball game. But the offense did their job, and we had and the defense had to pull something through him. And luckily, it was my number called to do it. <laughs> Don't miss out on seeing USF in their historic 20th anniversary season. 
on Saturday, November 26th, UCF.